Hello beautiful people. Before I start this video, um, I would like to ask your help. A uh, little girl was, and her, was SA, I can say. what You guys know what SA mean, right? And her and her mother were SA. And um, a friend of mine started a GoFundMe page to help with, the mother didn't survive, the little girl did. A friend of, a friend, uh, of mine has started a GoFundMe page. Uh, the goal is to to raise uh, eighteen hundred dollars for her medical bills and to help her fix her house and psychological things after you know uh, because she's too small. Um, I am helping out with the wood from the farm and people helping with her, fix her house and stuff. So um, so yeah, if you can help, I will leave the GoFundMe page in, in, in the description, the video description, and in the comments. Any anything is appreciated, okay? Um, and thank you. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. <laughs> opinions based on information out in the public domain please do your own research and this is a platform for entertainment and to give our opinions express our opinions I mean I don't know if the people in Germany are aware that they caught a, this is according to bookworm by the way go check her channel I highly recommend her she's a South African lady that I love I follow her um, they took a 50 million dollar plane and took four short flights all paid for by the german taxpayers this is harry and Meghan, okay for a for two private citizens carrying out a private visit for a private charity organization funded by the taxpayers of germany while they're starting a huge crisis and recession you tell me you tell me what's wrong with this picture okay and Meghan markle was included in the press that harry was given because you can see her i posted it earlier on my community page that she's talking about it okay unbelievable unbelievable why is this woman talking she says, oh, I wonder how did I ever get here? Yes. Why are you here in the UK? Well, you're not here where I am. Why is Meghan Markle in the UK? You know, I was watching an interview with Chris uh, Morgan and this black lady who were going on. And she says, Meghan never said she hated the royal family nor, nor the UK. You know, I felt like jumping on the side of TV and smacking the shit out of that stupid black woman. If you keep trashing a family, you keep trashing a country, you keep trashing its press, you make it sure that everybody knows about it. That pretty much, if your actions are that of hatred towards a family, that's because, that's because she hates them. I mean, I'm so happy to be back here in the UK uh, that I had to flee and leave because they were abusing my children, they were abusing me. I am so happy to be back in the UK because i love this country no she doesn't they had to move continents yo wow yo, boy, you're very needy city they had to move continents because how terrible the united kingdom and the royal family were so for this black woman that she was talking to pierce morgan about it say oh Meghan Markle never said she hated the uk yeah how many lawsuits make harry's now suing the government because he wants to get free security and let's let's face it he wants to pay for the police. It doesn't work that way. So in the end, he would need to get free security, which is, you know, if you can't pay the police because the police are not a private security firm, then he would, you know, that's a given that if he gets any security from the police, it will be paid for by the taxpayers, just like the taxpayers in the Germany right now paid for the trip in that $50 million airplane provided for by the army because this was paid for by the government of Germany, German government. As I told you, the British uh, army already said, no, we're not or with the Invictus at all. Invictus is a private charity company. We don't sponsor private charity companies, you know, so, but Invictus in Germany is, and the taxpayers are paid for those four private unnecessary trips. Okay, so go check out Bookworm because it's very interesting to see that. I wanted to talk to you also about Britney Spears and Kevin Federline. And I, I, 
I mean, let me know if you agree with it. I mean, why would the tax, before I, I jump into Kevin uh, Federline and, and, and Britney Spears, do you think it's right that the German people had to pay for a private plane, for, for a government airplane, for four trips for Harry and Meghan, who went on a private visit for a private charity, which had nothing to do with the government? What do you think? Do you think that Meghan loves the UK and she loves the UK people? Or do you think that she has to say her actions speak louder than what that black stupid woman was talking about? Now, thank you for my viewers because you guys sent me and told me that it was George Hamilton. Thank you. Yeah, that's the guy I was thinking. I mean, if Meghan Markle keeps putting more bronzer, she's going to surpass George Hamilton. Please answer those questions and let me know what you think. You know, and I want to clarify something. Oh, Harry once uh, was talking about respect and accountability. This is how bad things are. And this is why they think they are owed an apology because nobody in the monarchy, nobody in parliament. And you know what? Shameless, shitty press in the United Kingdom that don't hold Meghan Markle accountable for the libel she said that people were calling her child the n-word which is the press you know it's implied why aren't all the journalists in the united kingdom press you are pussies i'm sorry i'm gonna say it you are pussies if it weren't in the other shoe and Meghan markle had been wrongly accused of something this woman would be suing your asses like there's no tomorrow why isn't she being sued for libel it's because the uk press is is they're pussies i'm sorry i mean, i'm sorry i'm saying that but it's true Anyways, uh, it's incredible. It's incredible all this happening. And Harry and Meghan, that they think they're owed an apology. And now, Omid Scobie is turning around and saying that it's all Prince William's fault. And Meghan, <laughs> my husband. Why was she talking at the Invictus conference, uh, you know, around press? She wasn't invited. She's not part of the Invictus game. Harry did not interrupt her when she was doing her monologue because that wasn't a keynote speech. That was a monologue talking about me, myself, and, and Meghan, you know? Um, why, you would not see Harry interrupting her. Oh, no siree, and yet she was sat in the circle where she's talking and Harry's just looking like a fucking moron he is. I'm sorry, but I'm just, it's disgusting. And the royal family and the monarchy and parliament, they should remove them finally from that royal website, you know? Yeah, Anyways, Kevin Federline and Britney Spears. Britney Spears, I have to ask you people this question. Supposedly, Britney Spears is under was under a conservatorship because she was a danger to herself and she could not think and do things on her own because she was mentally impaired, imbalanced, imbalanced or whatever you want to call it, right? That's why she got a conservatorship, because she was a danger to herself, she, she had mental issues, and blah, blah, blah. Yet, this woman, this woman was made to work nonstop for 13 years and produce millions of dollars for her family, okay? For her father and everybody. I gotta call Vegas out, because why did they sign a contract, a, a residency contract worth millions and millions of dollars? with a woman who was declared mentally ill by the courts to the point that all of her legal rights were taken away. I mean, that is very drastic. What happened to Britney Spears, it was very, very drastic. So all her legal rights had to be completely taken away because this woman couldn't, couldn't be herself. She couldn't fend for herself or anything like that. But she was capable of working really high stressful situations and handling high stressful jobs because the residency in Vegas is brutal people, especially the way that things were done. She did roles and and, and I, I believe in Will and Grace, one of my favorite shows and everything, and in other parts as well. She was okay to do all of that. And by the way, when you do a Vegas residency, there, there's an insurance clause involved in case anything happens. Why isn't that Britney Spears suing in Vegas? Because in order for them to hire her, they had to see, they had to, they had to do a mental and physical thing for her to be hired because they have to have insurance. So what happened there? So what happened there? Sorry about that. So yes, can somebody please tell me how nobody has ever called out Vegas for this 
for hiring a mentally unstable ill woman who was declared incompetent by a court of law in the United States. This woman, in my very humble opinion, was brutally exploited by her family and anybody who hired her, knowing full well what her situation was. Now, Kevin Federline and her and Britney Spears' children, in my very humble opinion, are absolute disgusting people. And yeah, Paula, you're talking about small kids. No, they're 16 and something. Kids nowadays, they know what they're doing. In these two kids, they know what they're doing. They're spoiled brats who don't like to be disciplined, who, who don't like to be taught manners. I mean, one of them was recorded, secretly recording his own mother. Talk about having the enemy in. Can you imagine how violated Britney Spears must have felt when she saw her own children were secretly taping her to make her look bad? I can guarantee you that they try to blackmail her with those things. And these are all my thoughts and opinions, okay? Those two children, in my opinion, are entitled spoiled brats and I can't for one wait for them to turn 18 so they can finally earn a living and start working. Because right now, how, can, how is Kevin Federline supporting six children? Well, four that are not Britney's, right? Because he has four children that are not Britney's. So Britney's children are getting money. Kevin Federline doesn't work. How is he support? And, and neither does his wife. How are, how are they supporting four children in that mansion, in that house? Okay, so Kevin, Brittany was originally giving him $20,000 in child support, $10,000 per child, plus she was paying the school fees, school tuition, school supplies, school everything, and all extracurricular activities. So that means that the $20,000 were just to feed the children. How much food do they need? And their clothes, okay? So... In 2018, Kevin Federline sues Britney Spears and he wanted $60,000. The older the kids were getting, the more money he wanted because he knows that that's coming to an end. So it, he, wasn't get, he didn't get uh, 20, the 60000 he wanted, but he got 35000 Plus, Britney takes care of the school fees, school fees, school supplies, and all extracurricular activities. So... Now Kevin Federline and her children are calling her out. They're violating her. You know what her children did? Re secretly taping their own mother because she was being reasonable. You do not walk barefoot into an ice cream parlor. You know what? Are they? And then he gets mad because of that. Because a mother is teaching him to be a decent human being in manners. It's called being a mother. But that is a violation to Britney Spears' space and trust. And I hope, Brittany, if you're, I know you never watch my channel, but I hope you understand how that that is a violation to you by your own children, okay? Because those kids, and I know mothers don't like to face up to stuff like that, are not your friends. They're not anything. They are just as vile as your father, mother, because they are greedy. They want, you know why? They want those two children, now they're defending the grandfather who violated Britney Spears, who had a, who had a camera in her bedroom, and toilet and everything, loo. You know, he had a, a camera in, the, in her loo and everything. They're defending that. What? They were exploiting this woman horribly. And now they're defending the grandfather who was exploiting their own mother. And Kevin Federline, no, I didn't have anything to do with that. I just, I just wanted the money, honey. I just wanted the money. I wanted to stay out of way because he did it out of love. Nobody does that to their own daughter out of love. You don't. If if Brittany was so incompetent that she had to be in a conservatorship, why was she made to work like an animal? And again, I go on it about shame, shame on, on the people who were hiring a mentally incompetent woman. That is exploitation. And Brittany, please sue Vegas, you know? But anyways, uh, what do you guys think? I think Brittany should stop. She, I don't know if she could, she should apply to the courts to have the, um, the child support reduced because her two kids can work. Kevin Federline is supporting four other children with no work. How is he supporting that big house? I really hope that they do a, 
an audit as to whether Kevin Federline got that house paid for by Brittany and see where he's spending the money because actually the courts can do that. Courts can actually audit. Um, if anybody who's a big Britney fan, courts can audit the, the child support, where the money is spent. And I'm pretty sure that we'll see a lot of irregularities because I can guarantee you that those $35,000 have not been spent on just Britney's children. But what do you guys think? Please leave me your comments, okay? Thank you for watching. <laughs>